Hello fellow engineers and welcome to my Steam account. Now if we head over here and we click on Rogue Tower, some of you with a keen eye may have noticed this, a happy April Fool's patch. Now annoyingly I missed it, but after speaking to the devs, they've added it for all of us to try. So if we right click on here, we go to properties, we then come down to betas, we can select this drop down where we've got the April Fools. It's only available to the end of April, but there it is. So in the game now we have loads and loads of updated towers. It's going to be interesting I hear and I'm not claiming responsibility for this patch being extended to the end of April but uh if you want to say thanks in the comments as you guys know I love strategy games so I'm delighted to say this video is sponsored by Conflict of Nations it's a free online pvp strategy game that allows you to pick a real country to lead in modern global warfare against up to 128 other players in real-time games that can take weeks to complete it's available on both mobile and pc and you can play with the same account across both platforms you can build your army using a variety of different units from tanks and jets to nuclear submarines and you can choose your own strategy from declaring war on your architect neighbors to making peace and forging alliances i personally really like the long-term strategy of each game so click the link in my description to download conflict of nations and get an exclusive free gift of 13,000 gold and one month of premium the offer is only available for the next 30 days though so be quick Right, let's get into this. Do I have any upgrades left? I got 3000 XP and we've got everything unlocked. Okay, cool. I've played this quite a lot, it seems. <laughs> so we're going to play. I think we'll just do single defense for now because I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. <laughs> the list has cost 69 gold. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is good. All right, so we'll do the usual. We'll surround these houses because these houses give us extra gold. Oh no. Oh, they cost a crap ton. They're up to 500 quid already. Oh, update. That is sneaky. That is very sneaky. Right. Okay. We might have to, we might have to do these a bit more sparingly. So if we do it like that, that's going to get us the most gold because all of our ballistas are between two houses. So we get double the gold from each. Whether they'll be close enough to the start to defend us. I mean, this round they will because there's only one little person. So they should get... Oh god, he seemed quite strong. Oh yeah, pretty much all of these towers are going to work differently. So I guess we'll start with the Shredder, my favorite tower. That costs 500 gold. I feel like it might be worth like losing some of these. So if we demolish that, we can at least put one Shredder down. I might shove it on there. And let's see how the Shredder compares to previously. Right, ready? Holy... <laughs> Did you see how big that was? Oh, that is not what she said. Oh my goodness. Uh, next up, I feel like I just want to try all the towers now. So we'll do mortar instead. So these, they have pretty good damage. 230. What do our ballistas do? They only literally only do 30 damage. Ballistas are like useless. I might even demolish a few more of these because that's so much money. The mortars cost 200. I might just shove one, I don't know, like back there somewhere. That's a good area. Is that a smaller area than normal? I thought mortars were a bit bigger than that. Don't know, but let's expand and see how we get on. The Ballista's not doing a lot. Oh my, I can't even tell what's going on. All right, so next up, oh, Tesla or Obelisk? I don't know. I think I want to do Obelisk. I wonder if they're cheaper. No, they still cost a thousand. I might lose one of those Ballistas so I can afford it. And we're going to shove an Obelisk. I don't know, maybe on here with a plus three. <laughs> What is that? Okay, so they don't seem to do the most amount of damage ever. I honestly can't really remember the stats to know if that's any better, but <laughs> look at it. <laughs> it's so pointy. All right, we'll expand. Oh my God, look at the range. Holy crap, look at the range. Okay, that's how it differs. The range is mental. Uh, next up, I'm going to take the Tesla and we'll see how that's changed. So I think we'll demolish the shredder for now. We'll shove a Tesla there. Oh, look at the range. What is going on with these towers? <laughs> okay, usually the range would be like that big. Like, look at my mouse. It's small, but not today. Okay, we can literally demolish that. I might expand first, and then I don't even know where to shove this on there. Does Tesla actually do damage in the middle, or is it just like the outer edge? Let's see. Do these get hurt? Are they getting hurt? I'm not convinced. I think they are, but it's very, very weak. The Tesla. Oh, I don't know what to go for now. I do sort of need some mana if I'm going to use Teslas, but I just want to try them all out. So let's get a radar tower. We'll delete the Tesla. That costs a thousand, the radar. Maybe we can delete another one of those. There we go. Right. So radar tower. What's the range of this going to be like? Oh, it's still huge. That's good. Oh, is that a tiny? <laughs> it's a tiny plane. <laughs> Why is it so small? <laughs> 
Oh, look at him. Anyway, he seems to do the damage. We'll set him to most health. Yeah, I'm not sure if radar has changed too much. It seems like the damages are really high, to be fair. But uh, the obelisk, I really need, I need some mana siphons. Oh, there's a poison spray. I think I need mana siphons, though. I feel like the obelisk is the only reason we're alive at the moment. All right, so we'll shove two down there. I really need some, I need some more money. I need banditry or something. I'll get rid of the radar tower. Sorry, Mr. Plane. I'm going to put some more mana siphons about. I think obelisk might be the key at the moment. Maybe I'll shove some mortars like up here. <laughs> it's so random. All right, let's explore band and then if we get some gold i want to shove a shredder near the start the obelisk is so tall it's ridiculous right look at the mortar oh it's just constant that's really good actually i might have to get a load of mortars oh that is working amazingly nice uh, i've also been told the universities are very good in this update so i think we'll grab that even though we can't use them for now we need to wait for like a little shrine thing for us to surround them with but uh, we got some money we're gonna shove a shredder down like there i guess and then we'll expand oh we got a corner. Weirdly, that's a good place for a mortar now. It doesn't seem right doing short range mortars. Look at that saw though. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Right, nice. We got another tower, the encampment. Let's see what that is all about. So usually these just leave mines there. It's, I don't know. It's not my favorite tower. We don't have enough gold, so we will expand for now, and then we'll shove an encampment like back here somewhere. I might even move this obelisk to be a bit more involved. If I shove it like there, that's much better. Right, nice. I'm, I'm literally not upgrading anything. I'm just getting all the new buildings. I don't know what haunted house is going to do this time, whether it's going to change at all. Do they always cost zero? I'm not sure they always cost theory but that's good i guess uh, we still can't afford the encampments so we'll expand once more all right now we can afford it i sort of want to just shove one down to see what it does oh what the frick look at the area look at the area right flame tower's got to be next so we'll grab that so the encampment just laces mines everywhere okay let's demolish that and we'll shove one sort of in the middle i can literally shove one there and it covers the entire map yeah uh, we'll be interesting to see like where it lays the mines but uh, let's expand and then, oh, I literally plonked one, like, all the way over there. Is it just random? Yeah, there's one all the way down. <laughs> so we're just covering everywhere in mines. That's quite cool. I will take that. All right, and then the huge saw blade is doing the damage. I don't know what I prefer, the shredder or the mortar. Like, the shredder, I think it's just visual. But, like, look at it. <laughs> it's so big. And so many mines are being laid down. Encampment is awesome, suddenly. All right, the first upgrade where we're not getting a new building. I think we'll, we'll just prep with the universities. We get plus 3%. And then we'll expand this way i might shove another shredder down they are way too fun to not use constantly ready fire there it goes rip through everyone it actually doesn't it doesn't rip very far anymore it's got a very short like shredding range it didn't actually touch those stacks of logs though oh okay we might be in trouble the stacks of logs are pretty major i think it's just a case of we need more mortars so i'll shove one there We'll say look at most armor because these are pretty good against armor. You can see armor multiplier 11 and they're working pretty well. Yeah, oh, we got frost keep. We've also got a mine. I do want to try both of them. We'll grab the frost keep to start with because that's usually a useful tower. I wonder what the update will be though. I mean, I'd love for a range increase. I would not complain. No, oh, there's me zoomed out hoping for a range increase. Range hasn't changed at all. Interesting. Not entirely sure how this one's gonna change. I don't know. We'll shove it there. That covers that corner. And then maybe we'll fill up a few of these. Oh, I haven't used the flame tower yet, actually. It costs 420. Nice. Yeah, I could shove that there, looking down there. It costs, well, 420, as I said. I've only got 99 gold. So let's expand. Let's try and get some money in the bank. There's the saw ripping through everyone. Love it. All right, and in fast motion, you can really see how quick the mortars fire. I didn't realize it was faster rate of fire as well. I literally thought it was just smaller range. All right, oh, we got the poison sprayer now. We'll grab that. So first off, flame tower. I want to shove one there looking down that way. So pretty much shove you on progress. I'm not sure if this one's changed. Looks pretty similar. Can we afford a poison sprayer? Yes, we can. We'll shove that one there. Also looks the same. Can't see any differences so far. We will expand and see what happens. Oh, it splits off. All right, poison spray it. Are you doing anything different than what you usually do? I'm not convinced. What about flamethrower? Are you doing anything different? Not sure. Maybe the flamethrower is price change. Oh man, the next one costs 840 gold. So I don't think we'll be using any more flamethrowers. We could upgrade them though. They're pretty cheap to upgrade. That's one positive. All, right, all these logs are exploding into people. Thankfully, no one's really getting past these mortars at the moment. Well, what the hell? What the hell? 
Why are you shooting my tower? What was that all about? Did you see that? Super long range mortar. All right, let's grab a mine and we'll see if those have changed. So they cost 150. In the past, you just shove them around here and you get an extra tower point. So that goes up to 21. Okay, don't think they've changed. We'll demolish that. We don't really want them. We're not planning on anyone getting through our defenses. Yeah, what I might do, I might shove a mortar on there. Not only there, but also down here as well. I think that's a good spot. Oh, it's Oogie. It's Oogie. All right, Oogie could actually be a problem. We don't really have any good health things. Although at least he will be bleeding, burning, and poisoned, which I guess is good. But uh, we definitely need some towers. Maybe a radar tower. So we'll shove that in. We'll say, look at most health. And then hopefully the mini plane will attack him. It's like we're recreating King Kong. There's just no Empire State Building involved. Oh, he is actually getting rinsed. Oh, it's the planes. The planes are so good. This damage, that's got to be different to normal. Like 460 damage. I think radar towers have fully been buffed. But right, next up. Do we go with a 5% crit chance or increase our poison per second? Damage over time is pretty good. We do have the poison tower at the start. But I do like critical hits. I think I'm going to go critical. Sod it. And then we've also got an upgrade down here in the chest. Uh, let's get some spores, some bleed, and some burn damage per second. Nice. Right, so we know most people are going to meet here. I think this is a good spot for a frost keep. I think that's probably the best spot. And then we'll just surround this area in towers. We'll shove a mortar there. That looks good. We could literally shove a Tesla like in the middle. <laughs> Look at the range. It's ridiculous. <laughs> in fact, it's probably worth being like over there. That covers... Oh, I wish it would cover that. If I shove it on a plus three height, there is a plus three there. That's not going to be big enough, but the plus two. Now, the range doesn't quite cover that arm. That would be ideal. I've got to be careful saying this word. Tesla coil. Apparently, in my previous videos, you guys heard, and not just you guys, apparently the YouTube caption things, the automatic ones, you all heard me saying testicle, not Tesla coil. Anyway, that's up there. We need, I think we're going to need a few more mana siphons now. I've just gone a bit crazy with the mana towers. What the frig? Look at all those. So they are gravestones that we can put our haunted houses around and they turn mana into gold. So if we increase our mana, we can increase our gold, which will be very useful, I think. You've just got to be careful with the mana, but I think I might shove a few more of these down. I don't know if they work like upper level, so that's not on level with anyone. Is that getting any gold? No, it's not. Right, I've just upgraded the old shield damage on that Tesla. Because the range is insane hopefully that should sort of save us from this area but yeah since these cost nothing the haunted houses i'm just gonna lace it and then spend my money on the mana siphons right next up any new towers no we'll just improve our tesla now we're gonna do the siphons to balance the money we're getting from the haunted houses we're gonna hope our damage is okay i think we're doing all right i sort of want to really really make the most out of the haunted houses so i'm literally surrounding all these tiles in those right, you can see mana is going down massively we've got to get more towers in we need the siphons come on siphons All right oh yes a new tower the particle cannon let's grab one of those i sort of need to keep building these mana siphons i may have put too many haunted houses down <laughs> how much gold do these actually get us so i think it's every time someone dies we gain extra gold gold. I've literally never used these in the game before. All right, so let's expand. Oh yeah, did you see all that gold? Maybe it's just a new round or is it deaths as well? We'll see if the net tax collected goes up. I don't really know how they work. They're using a lot of mana though, so we'll keep doing the siphons. All right, we're maxed out on the siphons. So if this bar goes down, we need to delete some haunted houses. But I think for now, we're looking pretty good. There are some shield people in here, but the poison spray is pretty good at shield. I might upgrade it a little bit. Yeah, you can see the shield is getting rinsed down here and <laughs> <laughs> then the huge circular saw ruins everyone. Nice. Next up. Oh, shall we make our haunted houses work twice as efficiently? Yes, please. All right, so we'll expand and then we'll try a particle cannon out. I really want to see how these have changed. I need enough gold. We've just got enough gold. Particle cannon on the... Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is huge. The range is insane. The fire rate is also insane. It's using a little bit too much mana for my liking. It's gone down to zero. I might have to get rid of you, mate. Right, mana going back up now that the particle cannon isn't shooting like crazy. It's like a particle machine gun. Right, the next upgrade, we really need mana banks. Uh, lots of shields down here. The, this tower is actually doing unbelievable things. I'm going to upgrade your shield damage even more, Mr. Poison Tower. I think he's saving our lives. Look at all the mines that are left behind. <laughs> And if I don't win this, I'm going to kick myself in the head. All right, next up, let's get pyrochemistry. And then we'll expand over that way, I guess. All right, we got fast-moving bats. They're a little bit scary. 
they are really getting through the defenses. I wonder if it's worth getting a frost keep like there. That slows people down a little bit. And then another testicle, <laughs> maybe on there. I don't want to use mana stuff too much. I pretty much want to stick with like the mortars and the shredders. All right, nice. Level 20. We finally got banditry. Let's take that. Extra gold should be very nice. I, I need mana banks. Where are the mana banks? Are there any shrines as well? I want to put a university down. But it's all just bloody gravestones. <laughs> right, anyway, let's expand. There's still no shrines. Okay. Oh, the double Tesla is looking good. Oh, some of these things are absolutely flying through. I might have to strengthen defenses back here. We'll see how far they get. Oh, they're getting quite far. Although we do have the obelisk back here. That is a good thing. The friendly fire on these mortars. That... <laughs> hey, what are they doing? <laughs> There's no one back here. That's really bad. They're bombing their own village. Right, I might shove another poison sprayer like there. Hopefully looking down that way to do some shield damage. Let's upgrade our flamethrower. We'll expand again. Still no shrines, so let's fast forward. I might just put some more planes down since I got so much money. So radar, another one. And there's the mana bank. Oh god, what if they've changed? Hopefully they haven't changed. They cost 500. The strongest layout still seems to work. Right, okay, that's good. I think we can shove a particle cannon down now, surely. Look how big it is. Right, what's the main damage shield? So we'll say, look at the most shield. Oh, no, it's going down. Look at the mana going down. Particle cannon, you're too brutal. I might have to get rid of it again. All right, mana is going back up now. I just need to buy mana banks. I'm literally not sure if there's going to be enough room to do all these mana banks, though. Oh, that will help. Haunted houses will be rice as efficient. Nice. All right, so they're getting us quite a lot of gold. I'm going to keep spamming mana banks. Like we can make this bank a bit more efficient by doing that. And that. That's going to be a lot of mana, surely. All right, and then fast forwarding. All seems to be going well. They're not getting past these two mortars. That's my sort of danger zone. If they get down there, then I have to act. Uh, let's do some quality over quantity. And then perhaps we'll do some more haunted houses. I think anywhere where there's like two or more surrounding, that would be good. And one's like in here, surrounded by four. Yes, please. That is money. All right, let's hope I haven't ruined the game. Mana, are you good? Oh, look, the obelisk is getting involved early on. We need to put you on most armor, I think. He just exploded logs straight away. Oh, man, I might get another obelisk up here. Although mana is going down, I think we need more mana banks. So we'll get another strong bank there. I'm really going to run out of space to do these. Oh man, mana's going down loads. All right, loads are in back here, but not enough gold. The world's least efficient mana bank. Man, I haven't even put a particle cannon down. Look at the mana. It's not good. But look, we got a meme amount of gold and we're about to have a meme amount of mana per second. So I'm feeling confident about this. Let's get the lookout tower. That's a new tower. We haven't used that one yet. And don't worry, this bank is slightly more efficient now. And then the lookout tower. I assume we want you somewhere around here. Oh, what the hell? Look at the size of the target. Why is it so big? Oh, wait, I just defeated a noogie. Did I? The lights changed. Was I really paying that little attention? Yeah, look, there's chests. Uh, Tesla poison damage. Yeah, why not? And then increase the poison damage per second as well. Yep. Oh, that was it. Just two upgrades. Fair enough. Ooh, this could be a good combo. Slow cooker. So burning enemies burn faster based on how much slow they have. So if we grab that, and then we've got a frost keep there, but our flamethrower is over there. So essentially, if we put a frost keep like there, then that should make this a lot more powerful, right? Next up, we really need some more mana banks. So I'm going to expand. Band. Oh, look, we got a big tower. We got a big tower. What can we put on there? I sort of want to do that. <laughs> look at that. Look at the range. That is ridiculous. But look at it. It's so pointy. Oh, and down here, we have a shrine. We have a shrine. All right, university. We're going to surround these. Then we've already got the 3% chance. So we got that from earlier. But if we spend a little bit of cash on health in that one, armor in that one, and shield in that one. I feel like the research is cheaper. I'm not entirely sure, but I can't pump money into that yet because we've got our mana to sort out. Although, savings account. Oh, and sorcery. Sorcery will add another seven and a half a second. So I think we'll do that and then we'll try and do savings account afterwards. So that's good. There's also a crystal down here. May as well make use of that. So siphons around there. And then we just expand band over that way. Oh, look, there's another shrine. We've got out the gravestone stage, it seems. Oh, look, our university's already got us a HD, which is a health damage multiplier. That applies to all towers. Very nice. I literally haven't built any new tower or upgraded them in ages, though. Thankfully, things still seem to be going okay. Although mana has just run out. We need, we need more mana banks. 
stat. Oh, wow. That is efficiency to the max. Although it hasn't worked. The mana is still, like, dead. I'm not sure I like the new lookout tower. Is it just visual? I don't think it does, like, any damage. Oh, and look. People made it down to there. That was scary. All right. Let's increase the burn. That will help. And then I'm going to lose that lookout tower. I don't like it. It's annoying me. That's 500 gold in the bank. That is another mana bank. I am really running out of places to put mana banks, though. I could just go all out university. But for now, I think we're going to keep with what we got. So let's expand up that way. Oh, there's so many shrines about. I want to get more universities involved. I just, I got to make sure the mana is right first, though. That is the most important thing. We haven't even got a particle cannon yet. Let's build another shredder, like, over here somewhere. So everyone's so grouped up. I think maybe some more mortars as well. I could just shove. It's only 600. I could just put, like, an encampment, like, like that. Look at the area that covers. It's nearly the entire map. At least we can get some early mines and things. All right, shredders bleed damage 50%. Yes, please. And then I might put some more universities down. So we got one there. We can put four around that if we get rid of the siphon. I'm not sure what's more important. Oh, look, the tower's gone through the sign. I thought it was like vampire teeth for a second. It's just the top of my tower. All right, so we'll do that one health up to 8%. That one armor, that one shield. And then over here, there's even more shrines, but that's all we can afford, right? Let's expand again. Oh, I can get another pointer. I can get another pointer. There's shrines everywhere. This is literally going to be a colony of engineers with so much education going on. I love it. And look up here, it's just like mortar carnage. It is really working, though. Fair play. Oh, is it, though? No, these are the ones that shoot missiles. We actually need to be careful of these. Oh, God. They are sneaking through. They are sneaking through. Let's get a flamethrower on there. It's a bit of burn damage. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is scary. This is scary. Emergency mortars coming into play. Do some health damage. Right, it's okay. We killed him. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. We need to We need to improve. Do we improve or do we just go banditry? I'm going banditry. Sod it. I need more money. I need more money for more mana banks. Right, each one of these adds a plus one to the second, which is good. I've got to keep using up the crystals. So we've got a new crystal there. That's a far cheaper way of adding a plus one. So we're on plus 100 a second now. We pretty much used up all of our gold. Not ideal. But on level 30 so let's upgrade some stuff off. Maybe these mortars. They're pretty cheap to upgrade. Just do a little bit of everything on them. All right, then we're good to go again. Oh, we got a thousand gold from all the all the graveyard things. The haunted houses. I think we just got to spend it on banks. All right, I got another efficient bank in there. We are sort of struggling with these though. Look how far they're getting. Look how much armor they have. We'll upgrade this flamethrower to do armor damage. I might shove another radar down or maybe another obelisk or maybe a particle cannon just like back here like an emergency one. I really don't know what's best. Let's gain 2% research. I want to go all out on universities, really. So more universities, more studying for everyone. There's another shrine up there if you want it. Oh, we got double shrines over here. What is going on? So much university to do. But most important thing, we got to survive. We can't let people get as far as they're getting. I'm literally thinking another shredder or another mortar. Bung a shredder there. Bung some mortars down as well. I should probably upgrade some of these as well. All right. I think that's definitely helped. People aren't getting as far this round. We've got a lot of gold. I think I'm going to invest in the universities, assuming people don't get too far. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a few missiles down there. Thankfully, Obelisk back here saves the day. All right, here we go. Savings account will give us a lot more mana. Look at that. 113 a second. 1,800 to put in the bank. Let's focus this round on the universities. I might lose that haunted house in favor of another uni. So each one of these does 3%. Or is it 5 now? No, 5%. Then we may as well just upgrade a load of them. Look at different things. Now, that's all of our gold. We've got three gold left, so let's expand. I don't know what to put on that tower, but I'm just going to spend my gold on the university stuff. All right, then we've got to be careful here. People are progressing quite far. Let's upgrade that flamethrower and this mortar. I think we're still safe. We got this obelisk back here. And a bit more poison. Sounds good. Some more universities and some more, and we're good to go. Universities haven't really paid off. We've got plus four, two, and four on the health armor and magic damages. Not as much as I thought it would be, if I'm honest. With the amount I've invested, not ideal. I really need some more towers, or at least upgrade these ones, because it's primarily armor getting through. I'm going to do all these 
armor. Can't even see my mouse. There's so much going on. I might shove another frost keep. Keep everyone slower for longer. All right, since our testers are doing poison damage and have a huge area, I'm going to do creeping cough, which slows people down if they're poisoned. Of course, I'm then going to build more universities. Oh, look at those damages. Five, six, and five. They're finally paying off the universities. Oh, and we've got the Yugi, the Robo Yugi. The obelisks have absolutely rinsed his armor. Great work. He hasn't even got to like the death zone and he's nearly gone. I think that is a nice little victory there. All right, let's improve our slow cooker. I do quite like that. And then we've got 5,000 gold. What are we going to spend it on? I don't know. Let's see what upgrades we got from defense beating Ugi. More poison, more mana, and more obelisk damage. All right, it might be time to get a particle cannon as long as I get some mana banks to fuel it. So particle cannon in... And the area is so big. All right, we'll shove it there. That covers a lot of the map. It does crazy shield damage. So we'll see. Look at the most shield. And then we just need to go mental on the mana banks. We got 4,269 gold. We can afford a very, very efficient bank. We can even make it more efficient as we're making more more money look at that that is ridiculous but what's even more ridiculous is this <laughs> the damage it's doing to shields 1400 and it's firing one per second look how much shield stuff there is i might actually shove another one down there's a lot of shield people coming i've shoved that one on there i'm going to change it to most shield as well so we should be able to take shields out pretty quickly yeah, i'm then going to make my universities even better nice and then, oh we got our first portal nice we'll put more mana siphons behind it a university there and then if we fast forward through this round we're on level 37 look at the amount of money we got we don't even need to spend it the universities are finally paying off 7-11-9 i am loving this i might even go a bit more mental and invest more in the universities we've got 10,000 gold or if we try and put them all up to 15 percent right most of them up to 15 percent let's hope when i press play these numbers go up they did a little bit we're in the double digits with most i think we're gonna be okay again let's just fast forward while that's going on i'll keep upgrading these to 15 percent each and this is just how much chance there is to get an extra damage multiplier these numbers up here each round we're getting like 5,000 gold per round now as well so we can easily afford this and we're done with money left over i might i might upgrade these particle cannons they're pretty cheap to upgrade and look at the multiplier it goes up by so much two and a half thousand damage on the shields if we expand people are not gonna last for long i'm gonna keep the old siphons going though very important there's one back here that i forgot to do oh there's space for a new uni as well there we go up to 15 percent down here it is just mental <laughs> I think no one has shields left because the particle cannons are so good. All right, more mana banks. I'm going to do a very, very efficient one over here. And then going to make them store an extra 15 mana. Because look at our mana bar now. 227, I think. I actually want to get some haunted houses back involved. It's like the ones that are surrounding like that. That's going to get us loads of money. They will, as they cost nothing, I may as well just shove them everywhere. And even if they don't get us anything, who cares? They cost nothing. All right, I think that's all of them. Let's hope that this bar increases and not decreases uh oh it's pretty equal it is going up it's definitely going up i might build one more mana bank just in case though no, just a little one down there that should secure it and then i can focus on upgrading or buying new towers although i'm really i'm not sure that i'm gonna need to like let's fast forward are they guessing anywhere near to where they were earlier i don't think so i don't want to get cocky but i'm feeling confident all right research breakthrough spend 10 grand on radar towers and then we're good to go again then make them suffer invest 10 grand in more universities and expand the map and just look at the beautiful beautiful carnage i really like the testers like the blue circles in fact yes that's much better we made the strongest teslas <laughs> Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I think we're going to get another obelisk in there for the banter, basically. I can literally afford 10 obelisks. All right, then. Let's expand. <laughs> Look at all the obelisk towers. It's beautiful. I'm just going to keep adding them until the mana starts going down. I'm not convinced it will. That is quite a sight. <laughs> Look at all the lasers. Especially if we speed it up with the strongest shape involved as well. Can I upgrade these Teslas? Just like a crazy amount. We got nine grand. Let's just go mental on all of these. Because it's the last round of the game. We got it up to level 31. Look at the university damage. It's pretty much all in the 30s. I'm pretty sure as soon as we press play. Like there. Yep, they're all well in the 30s. This is just brutal. Where's the big brain Oogie? There he is. He's already lost most of his shield. He hasn't even been hit by the particle cannons. Yeah. I don't know if you can see down there, but now his arm is going down. It's pretty much just the planes. 
The radar tower's literally OP. He's down to health already. The strongest shape defense has prevailed. I think we have won this one easily. Big Brain Oogie just went poof. Let's just add more obelisks. Purely for aesthetical reasons. Yes, you might say architecture. And there we go. Happy April Fools. That was a really fun update. Fair play, devs. I can see why it only lasted a weekend, though. It was a little bit too easy. But uh, that was a lot of fun. I really love what you've done with the tower. It's like... <laughs> The shredder is just ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for joining, guys. Thanks once again to Conflicts of Nations for sponsoring. Click the link in the description to download the game and you'll get an exclusive free gift of 13,000 gold and one month of premium membership. Offers only available for 30 days, so don't miss out. Peace, love, and oversized obelisks. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.